Hello my fellow snobs, I am Stuck Up Gamer and welcome back to some more of Life is Strange. Today we are starting episode 3. I was scared I want to be able to start episode 3 today because I woke up so late. Right now I'm recording, it's 12.30pm. I just like woke up maybe 30 minutes ago. I slept through my whole day today. Anyway, let's continue, because now I have episode three. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange. Whoa. We call film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm how so hip she is. sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Stelm and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Still not save her. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. This. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. Yes, this is right. Life is Strange story based game that features player choice, consequences, party games will impact the past, present, future. Choose wise. I don't know how they're going to do the second game. I don't know, because you can't rewind time in the second game. This is called Chaos Theory, I think it's what this episode's called. And Life is strange. Chaos theory. Poor Max. Oh. Kate! Calm down, Max. <laughs> I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. Get, get that ass over here now. Look I still, still can't around. stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. I reorganized my room. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Jesus, Max, you're really putting the guilt on yourself. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Sorry, Lisa. Too much water. I can't even keep my plant alive, much less Kate. 
Really? Too oh, much water. Here, not on this. No, da na 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 na. I like that. Yeah. Ooh, this is creepy. Ooh, whose door's open? Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be light. Ooh. This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. God, stop making me feel guilt. Hey, Max, come here. Dana. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. Don't say we're all responsible. Okay. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. It must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sharla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. So, what if I rewinded time and talked to her? Anything different I could have said to her? Hey, Dana. I just can't... What if I say we're all responsible? I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. You were nice to Kate. That's all she needed from everybody else here. Tell that to Victoria and the Vortex Club. Dana, there's more to this than just Victoria and the Vortex Club being mean. So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got raped. It's complicated. It's I'm getting scared now. Victoria? Not me. I prefer that conversation better. The other one was, you know, left off, but... Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. <gasps> Ooh! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Freaking. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Victoria is about as street as me. But she really appreciates style. A unique point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Yeah, I don't say. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Well, well. Uh, maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. Oh. 
That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Jesus. Okay. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Mm. I'll title this one Portrait de la Assholes. Dang. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Yeah. What, you wanna look at Simba? These socks cost more than my wardrobe. Jesus. Those boots are made for walking runways. Mm. Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. I don't care that I went through her room. She deserved it anyway. Because Victoria's nasty like that. Ten million fire. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I'm not sitting here. <gasps> the most magical insects. Burn bright. Keys are all wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory. I'm not supposed to be drinking out. alcohol. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. You're drinking I alcohol, dude. And space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility, and I, I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Um, I just... Max. Woo! Um. Look at me. Feeling sorry for myself when Kate marches her family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the Academy right out of Oregon. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. Don't put that guilt on yourself. You did nothing wrong. You tried to help. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. Let's see what we can do. Nuts and bolts. Like my grandpa's garage. Nothing here. Mm. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. That would be pretty clever, Max. I'm not gonna lie. So let's get up really close. Set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, gotcha. Max the ninja strikes again. Why won't they fit? Max the ninja strikes again. Making progress. Booyah! 
Oh my god. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a nice. scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... Act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, <laughs> I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. <laughs> it's funny. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie. Oh, bull! I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? What I'm going the? to think that uh. you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Yeah, get, get freaking wrecked. Are you fucking kidding me? Get freaking wrecked. It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. She is just She's about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. 
Mr. Jefferson. I'm sorry, but you're the only one that's nice to me, and I had to even the odds out. And I like David, and I wasn't going to throw it Who on the Prescott's because they're too powerful. You know Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I get charges for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. That is How true. Kate? Well. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. This is a principal's office. Dude, this freaking thing's a letdown. Look at this. Hat, Only hat. a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key. Just in case. Why, yes, I could. Boring. <laughs> Crap. Nothing here. How about this drawer? Dead end. That'd be a letdown if they put those keys in there. The yeah, extra pretty funny. <sighs> no keys here. Damon, search inside the desk. Fahigo. Nothing to see here. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. I guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. This sucks ass, goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Mm. All right, Warren. Mm. Okay, so I need sugar. Sorry, Warren, I'm more all over Chloe. So let's go a soda can. Warren what? is such a soda classic can. nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Just emptied. Nothing here. Bang. Could have a soda can instantly. Here we go. Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. 
That's how it's doing. Maxine, that's an interesting name. Uh, sugar, duct tape. More so hives cool. to go. Let's just go check the science lab. What is this? Oh, it's science class. Well, I'm in. I wonder why I left that open. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Here it is. That's, that's sugar. Give me that. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. That's graffiti. Science book. No, nothing there. Um. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Then what is? His? It's like a science book. So sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. A weed killer. It's right there. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. <laughs> wow. Only okay. SMS. And now I need. Duct One more ingredient left. I don't want to say duct tape's in here, so let's yeet. Ooh, it's in here. Oh. Still science lab. Ooh, what's in here? I'm going here. This is like a scene in a horror film. This is art class. I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. <laughs> nice going, Max. Contest pictures. I'm not in there. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? It's okay. What's this? I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Oh, what? What's this photo? You can never escape the lighthouse here. Oh, oh, well, it said that in the very first episode, so. Hey, there's duct tape. The tape is mine. Hey, we got it. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Oh, Kate, your locker looks so lonely. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! 
If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Uh, I'll show you what we should do. She can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money. But no taste. Dang. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Let's see, she's on his computers. Fine. Oh, born. I certainly can't use this. <laughs> Looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. Oh, Jesus. I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Jesus, okay. You're not so tacky up close. That is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Hey. <clears throat> Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Yeah. And nothing here. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. What the There's friend? not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. Does the homework often willy fool will ignorant to a teacher? She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against a non mandatory institution. Only two more files to go. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. What? Like I'm hell? not gonna read my own personal file. Max, as she prefers to be called, is a considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for photography. Her GPA fluctuates as she acknowledged she would be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence. Though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy, some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her 
to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Despite some recent confrontation with black hole security, Max tried to unsuccessfully stop fellow student from Kate Marsh jumping off a roof. At mm. But Max's bravery is undisputed. Oh, it makes this trial is going to be so spotless, a projectile vomit. Oh my god. What the freak? Oh, Let's I'm... nab like I'm this. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Jesus. God dang, Warren. I only got a 2.8. Average beh God, I think that's like my GPA. Ah. Uh. Tumbleweeds. <laughs> I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Just please don't accidentally delete his hard drive or anything. Like you can't rewind and fix it. I don't want to make it a habit, okay? Whatever, crackhead. You're hooked. Don't talk. Search. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. You're finally learning from the master. <laughs> and nothing here. Don't be such a thought. Okay, anyway. Oh. Look at this pile. No. Lev. Lev. Oh. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Oh, I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescott's dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescott's always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. It's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Oh no. Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha ching Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's five thousand dollars here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are super, Max. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. <laughs> mm. Oh, I love Chloe. I 
feel like shit for taking that money. Don't. It's just a handicap fun. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. We deserve a little mindless fun in the water. We're done for the night anyway. We're rich and nobody busted us. So? Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. Oh god. It's good. It's good. Come on. There you go. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. That is true. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Yeah, let's go for the boys. Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. <laughs> Let me check to see if the pool's heated. <laughs> Wait, can I rewind that? What, what happens if I say girl? Boys or girls? Say girls. Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. <laughs> I mean, it's not that big of a freaking choice, but... Where does that other sock go? This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. A miracle to save Kate would have been nice. Chloe. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. When I'm trying to find the light. I think it's right here. That's the exit. Um, boo boo bop bop a dippity doo. Boop doo doo doo. Um. I'm gonna be honest, Chloe. I have no idea where the freaking light is. Cause I'm grody. Oh, there it is. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. I got you. You brought your bathing suit and everything, Chloe. Time to do or dive, Max. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. And with my cash dash, I'm queen of the world. Bow. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Hmm. Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> hmm. 
I'll just rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. <laughs> Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And... We're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? That, that's that, that's that, Absolutely. true. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. <laughs> we need More to Warren. Amber. Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and two. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't <laughs> yeah. blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. Oh my god. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's jet. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Jesus, not gonna lie. Oh. Best stretch of hell, you well. <sighs> I'm oh, yawning. I slept for, so let's see here. Seven hours? Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hi! We have to go now. my power or just look for a hiding spot or both where are they hello hello anybody there Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! Try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. 
I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. We are lucky. We are not invisible. We are lucky. Wait. Turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? <laughs> okay. Into the car. All right, Chloe. Yes, Always take. remember this moment. Yeah, yeah. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... Mm -hmm. Since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. Get up. Yeah, get it. Keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning their Okay, I need to get dressed now. I 
don't think I'll be moshing today. Yeah, let's uh. God, that's awful. I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop Baby from hitting Chloe. Yes, I might go to hell for this, but if it saves Chloe, we'll pay it back. Wow, I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Where's your clothes, Max? The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. That's it's good stuff. Don't be a dummy, cover your willy. <laughs> That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. I love this song. <sighs> At least we haven't been identified. I have to go. Especially since Kate's parents aren't going to bury her here. I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion room. Well, let's see. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. Mm. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. All right. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Oh Maybe my not. god. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? You look good in this outfit, Max. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Oh my god, that's awful. It's like when we were kids. Why did I just have to witness that? It makes me feel even worse. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. I want, I want those pancakes. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. 
Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them.